Hello YouTube, we're here today cooking some chicken and rice. Um, this is a whole chicken and I cut it up and I put it in a pot and I salted it and I'm just waiting for it to come to a boil and uh, we'll get back to you. Yes, we're here again. We're going to throw in some butter. I, I know it looks like a lot of butter, but you know, for flavor, we're not watching our waistlines today. This is our um, <laughs> and let me get my onion here. I'm going to throw all this in. How many onions is that? Uh, it's one onion. <laughs> and we're just gonna get our carrots in here and we will get back to Okay, you. and we're back. Now I'm gonna cut this as a scunion. I use one whole bunch of scunion that you buy at the market, this regular scunion. You just cut it like this. Just put it in like when you're gonna put it into rice. And I'm gonna measure for that size pot and for one chicken, I'm gonna use probably uh, about a pound and a half of rice which is probably like, I think like maybe like a two cups and a half probably. I mean, I use only Uncle Ben's for chicken and rice because the other rice gets smushy too fast and Uncle Ben's is the best for me. And just maybe like a half. Just, you know, you just gotta look at it. Sometimes it could be too much or maybe more, but then what I do is I also rinse my rice. I let it soak and then we'll get back to you. We're here. I'm adding these um, bouillon cubes or these kind. You can add like three or four just depending on how much salt you put in. But they do give the chicken and rice flavor. I put in the carrots and everything and and we'll get back to you when we put in the rice. Okay, so now we're just going to throw in our scunion. Throw it in. All of it. It looks like a lot but it really does give it a better flavor. And this is how it should look. And also, if it doesn't look like it has enough oil, just add an extra little oil and butter because sometimes it makes it better. And here's our rice, which I gotta rinse out a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is just add in the rice. Just, you know, add it all in there. It's a lot of water, so should be fine. Okay, so our rice is in here. After our rice is in, just put the top on because that's very important and let it steam for probably about 30 minutes, but just keep on checking it. We'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, YouTube, let's check it out. Okay, this is what it uh, should wow. look like. Now you just have to taste it a little bit, see how the rice is, if it's done or not. Um, it's pretty much almost done. If it looks like it's dry, then you could always add in like a little bit of water if you want. But pretty much this looks done. Just keep the top on it for it to steam. And uh, it looks like it's almost done. Probably about another five minutes and we should be eating. So I wish you guys had smell vision. Yeah. Okay, YouTube, it looks like our chicken and rice is finally done. I just wanted to say uh, God bless all you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun making. And uh, leave us some uh, comments, good comments. And... Um, from my kitchen to yours. God bless you guys. Okay, YouTube, we're here making the uh, black beans that go with the chicken and rice. So just I put in some scunion and some carrots. This actually gives the black beans some flavor. Just let this uh, saute. And we'll get back to you when we throw in the beans. Okay, so pretty much we can throw in the beans. It's going to be semi homemade. I'm putting in some uh, black beans here, as you can see. Where I come from, my beans are not seasoned, I don't know about yours. So you gotta add a little uh, salt. Okay, you two are back, and you need to put a little bit of tomato sauce inside of your uh, beans. Just, you know, eyeball it. You don't want to put too much. Just a little bit to give it a little bit more of a darker color. And so, and then I also like to add this package seasoning. It's a very good flavor. It's called Sazon. 
Uh, you can get this at your Mexican markets. And I add one package in there. And this really gives it a very good flavor. And it looks a little watery right now, but as it cooks, it will get thick. You could just smash them a little bit on the side, that makes it thicker. And that's it, we'll get back to you. Okay, now we're going to be making our uh, fried platanos. Now, if you guys don't know what those are, those are actually uh, plantains are called in the market. And uh, this is what they look like when you buy them in the market. I don't know if your market has them, but they're very good, they're very sweet. It's kind of like they're banana, delicious. but it's a little bit different. Okay, so this they taste good fried. So I've got our oil here, and then you're just gonna place them in like that. And then you know, <laughs> you probably eat that at a Cuban restaurant. They're Cuban in Florida. We eat them many times. They go good with the black beans, the rice. Once you try them, you always want to buy them. And we'll get back to you when they turn golden. Okay, YouTube, so you just gotta turn these over and make sure they don't get burned because they're already like caramelizing up to them. And if they're this, this color, that means they're done. Okay, YouTube, we're making our tortillas. Back okay, so we're pretty much done with our platanos. We got our black beans here, mm. and we have our chicken and rice, mm. and uh, everything is done. This is more like a Cuban style. Uh, once you eat chicken and rice with black beans and platanos and tortillas, this is the way you're always gonna want to eat it. Maybe it looks not that good to you. Maybe you've never seen this before, but once you try it, I guarantee you're always gonna want to eat it this way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless you guys. And uh, see you next time. Amen.